Hello and happy Magical Monday. This is Michelle and I'm so happy to be here with you this week. It is um, one of those weeks where we have a kind of rare pause in all of the craziness. There is a very nice wave of energy happening astrologically right now. And I want you to do your best to enjoy it. And so this is one of those weeks where it's easier to get into an alignment. There's a lot of actual alignment in the sky right now. There's a lot of star alignments. There's a lot of good benevolent energy in the astrological atmosphere, which allows us to use this for magic and manifesting. And so one of the things I wanted to talk to you about this week is finding that sweet spot because I know it is the holidays and I get a lot of uh, messages from my clients during the holidays. How do I maintain? How do I how do I keep my groove? How do I get back to center? And my, I kind of have three tips for you tonight. And the first one is to remember that happiness, joy, and peace are all um, like creatable emotions. And we want, we are always reaching for that. And the first thing to do when you are starting to feel out of alignment, when you are starting to feel away from emotions that you want to feel, is the first piece is to identify it, right? So kind of tip one is to identify, I don't feel good, and redirect your brain. Every single one of you has a tool that can bring you back to some kind of centeredness, um, the first one is just recognizing, oh, I'm working too many hours. Um, I've been around too many people. I've um, said yes to too many things. Um, and I want you to like pace yourself with these emotions and just be like, whatever it is that brings you out of alignment, I want you to start with, I don't feel good, or I don't feel aligned, or I don't feel happy, or I don't feel joy. Just naming it is the identifier, because a lot of times we get, we stray further and further with the stresses, and we don't return to who we actually get to be, who we are naturally. And when we're manifesting, we must manifest from a feeling. When you want to like make yourself money or you want to create a new job or you want to create a new, um, a new relationship, you can't manifest things. You may manifest the emotion. You're going to manifest a vibration that allows you to be in alignment. So there's that word again. So step one is recognizing you are out of alignment because it's really hard to manifest an emotion, joy, peace, happiness, calmness um, from a place of being out of alignment. So the first thing, recognizing you're out of alignment. The, the absolute deepest way to get into alignment then after you're like, okay, I'm out of alignment is to actually make a decision. Most people don't decide their emotions. And I'm very, very intentional. The first thing I do every single morning is make a declaration or an intention for my day. Today is gonna to be a great day. Today is gonna to be filled with magic and miracles. Today is going to be blah, blah, blah. And I am, because the words I am, actually become part of that state creation. Um, if you wanna get deeper into the I am theory, read the Moses Code. There's also a documentary, I think it's on Amazon, 
James Twyman is amazing about um, helping you with the I am statements, Wayne Dyer. Um, I love listening to um, a meditation called the I am meditation from Wayne Dyer, which is music from James Twyman. Um, it's on YouTube. It's free. It's um, the frequency of I am that I am, which is called um, the Moses Code, where you're creating what you say, I am, becomes who you are, who you become, what state of being that you end up frequency at. So the first thing is make that choice. So whether it's the beginning of the day, and I'm, like I said, really clear that your first 10 minutes of your day, don't pick up your cell phone, don't pay your bills, don't watch YouTube. Be really clear about your intention setting for the day. I'm gonna have a joyful day. I'm gonna have a magical day. I am going to feel, because when we start manifesting from I need, I want, I desire, we actually put what it is we're calling in outside of us. But when you say, I am, I have, I'm going to, I feel, you're stating a feeling. You're making a creation. You're co-creating from the heart. It all comes from the heart anyway. If when you get the mind-heart connection, you really become what it is you state into being, what it is that you think, what it is that creates your frequency. Because it really does come down to feelings create vibration and frequency. And when you're creating a coherent field that is creating a, a wave of what it is you're putting out into the universe, the law of attraction is going to bring it to you. You're gonna be met by the emotion that you are putting out, not the item, the emotion. So if you're in gratitude, you're in hope, you're in expectation. I love my friend um, Joy. She has a beautiful um, Simplify to Multiply, and she has a statement which is, of course, Whenever she is manifesting and something happens in her way, she says, but of course it is happening for me. Of course it happened that way. I expected it to happen that way. And so I am looking for it to work for me, through me. And you silly little girl. So he will share a little joy with you. For those of you who do not know, this is Joy and she is being a silly kitty, so we'll share my joy, my heart field with you. This is one of the ways I open up my heart, is a little bit of, of love from, from the animal realm. And she is fun and mischievous and brings a lot of, of smiles and silliness to my face. So creating a state of expectation, creating a state of of looking for it. Um, you know when they say um, you drive a blue car, you're gonna start seeing blue cars on the road. When you are aware that um, you are a board gamer, you're gonna find other people that play board games. So whatever it is that you're putting into your intention, that's really what you're gonna be calling in. So especially right now, getting into the recognizing where you are and then making the choice of what you're going to be. So someone will say to me, but Michelle, I'm already having a bad day. I'm already having something. What, what do you do? Like, I've had some bad news. Um, we've had, you know, to deal with cancer and we've had to deal with um, all kinds of things over the last few months. So I'm not saying that life doesn't happen, but I expected my mother to get better. Like I expected it and so did she. And we declared it and we prayed upon it and we expected it. And I just wanna 
share with all of you that don't know, my mother had a wonderful um, diagnosis, so thank you for all of your prayers. She was told that at this time she is now cancer free. So we expected it. And my answer is, of course, because that is what we expected. If she had expected it to go wrong, that's probably what she would have gotten in the field, but she expected it to go right. So when something is going wrong, you get to decide how you want to feel about it. So bad news, you get to decide. But of course, it's going to be working in my favor. There is a sta statement which is, I am highly favored. So it's like a spell when you're saying that you are highly favored, you are expecting people, opportunities, life to be bringing you opportunities. You are looking for and not shutting down opportunities to feel good, have synchronicities, make connections. Like one of my, um, one of my really good friends always laughs at me because I can have a conversation anywhere with anyone. I'm in the grocery store line, we're gonna start talking. I'm in the, I'm in the airport, we're gonna start talking. And someone says, I never meet any woohoo spiritual people, but for some reason, Michelle, everywhere you go, you expect to see high vibrational people. I'm like, of course, they're gonna gravitate to me. Of course, they're going to gravitate to me because I put off a vibration. I actually intend on sharing my light and I intend on bringing it to me. So step three is actually magnifying and intending to be the receiver. So how does that work? When... I learned this trick, and I'm gonna try and share it as deeply as I possibly can with you, is that I was shutting off my allowance. I was so busy giving that I was not in the practice of receiving, which actually in the laws of manifesting stopped my receiving. It stopped my flow. So if I was only giving, that meant I wasn't in the form of receiving. And that actually counteracts everything. The heart can only take in as much blood as it can pump out. And it can only be giving to the other parts of its body as much as it receives in. So this is true with energy. This is true with finances. This is true with anything. You must have enough restoration. You can't give away money you don't have. You can't give away time you don't have. You can't share anything you don't have. So with the law of attraction, you must be in the energy of open, the energy of receiving, the energy of being a magnet to that which you're attracting. So if you expect that you're going to be attracting good things, you're going to be looking for it. You're going to be observing it. You're going to accept it in a but of course kind of way. When you are in your, in your expectations, you're setting intentions. I want people who absolutely love to talk about the things I want to talk to, to talk about, to share space with me. I am calling in soul friends, soul family, soul clients, soul students, and I'm manifesting enough time also for restoration, regeneration, rejuvenation. So I must be in the energy of balance. But in manifesting, in opening yourself up, you must be open to receive. So that means you must be open and expect happiness. You must be open and expect joy. You must be open and also protect love and peace. So the other thing that you, I guess this is tip four, wasn't planning on four tips, but 
it is actually a fourth tip is once you have figured out your formula for what brings you happiness, what brings you joy, what brings you peace, what brings you rest and restoration, you need to protect that. You're not giving that away. You are no longer open and available for people taking from you that which you are not interested in giving away. So to have enough to be truly, beautifully in form of exchange, you must actually protect your time. You must protect your home, your space with those high vibrations. So I'll tell someone straight up, okay, we're not talking about that anymore. And I don't mean spiritual bypassing because anybody who knows me knows I can go really, really deep. I'm just saying that when someone decides that all they want to do is be a complainer and do nothing to change about it, I'm no longer available to be a venting machine. Um, some of you, some of my deeper clients have heard me talk about this. I used to be the person as an empath that everybody came and they just dumped. They would send me text messages and tell me how everything went wrong. They would, you know, give me all the, all the reasons why everything was just never going to work. And my answer is claim your awesomeness. So we begin with how much you have, how much gratitude, how there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Because when you recognize from a place of gratitude, what is possible, the state change is possible. So bad things happen to good people. Stress happens to good people. Stress happens to positive people. Bad things happen to positive people. And you can be at peace. You can be at love and acceptance and peace even in the middle of chaos. And that is where the light destabilizes the dark. So the law of light in quantum physics, anytime you shine light into a dark space, the darkness is destabilized. And the same thing happens with chaos and stress. Love and gratitude and hope destabilizes negativity and it destabilizes chaos and it magnifies the understanding that the universe actually does have our back and it really is working for us and with us and to our benefit and there is a lesson in it sometimes the lesson is to rest sometimes the lesson is to hold a boundary or a standard and sometimes the lesson is just I don't like the way I feel, so I get to, and I choose to make a different decision and live a different way and have a different experience. So when you're all caught up in your worry and your chaos, you get to decide, is it really serving me to be worried or is trust, is surrendering to knowing that the universe is going to bring me something good and start magnetizing the good in, is that going to do more for me than complaining or worrying or fearing? And then do the state change. Actually make that decision, get back into the center, and make a decision that you're calling in what you need. You're calling in with the law of attraction, the good situation, the good feeling, the good emotion. And one way to do that is to get back into the theta brainwave. So that's what we're going to do here right now. I want you to take a couple of deep breaths. It takes two minutes, two minutes with your eyes closed and a little bit of deep breathing. So I'm going to show you how fast two minutes can be. So we're just going to take a deep breath and I'm starting the clock right now. And I want you to just feel a wave washing over you, closing your eyes and imagining you're in a beautiful ball of light. 
Imagine that all of your organs are resetting. Imagine that your adrenals are resetting. Imagine that the universe has your back. Imagine that there is a beautiful waterfall washing away, cleansing and removing the chaos of the season. Imagine that there's a beautiful white sparkling glittery light going through your body, going through your energy field, going through your cells and it is washing away any place that there is darkness, that there is worry, that there is chaos, that there is fear, that there is anxiety, having it wash away, cleanse, clear, and replace it with the energy of love, replacing it with the energy of hope, replacing it with the energy of stabilization and groundedness and love. And feeling your brain chemistry balance out, feeling your hormones balancing out, feeling your adrenals get to the point where it's like, ah, I am okay. I am safe and I am loved and I am supported. And I want you to imagine that you feel in an energy of light, a beautiful ball of light. And in that energy, you are safe, you are protected, and you are supported. And you are filled with light. You are refilled with energy. The universe has everything and anything you ever needed. It is all available for you. And that was just two minutes. Take note of how much better you feel. Now, from this state at two minutes, I want you to imagine calling in from the law of attraction that which you wish for. You're calling in wealth. You're calling in the wealth consciousness. You're calling in the feeling of, I already have enough and I am worthy of having enough. From this state, you are calling in experiences you're calling in what you need, that all of your needs are gonna be met, that the universe has your back and that it is delivering through people, through time, through experience, through every form, the law of attraction is delivering to you. And then I want you to remember, you are also a prayer being answered. So we are God working through that energy and we are delivering other people's prayers with our smiles, with our compliments, with our opportunity to serve and be of service. So set into the field the energy of giving and receiving and that you are a beautiful, divine being of light in the energy of peace. And as that is refilled, imagine sending that out into the universe that you are willing to be of service to the universe. And then I want you to imagine bringing that back in, allowing others to be of service to you and that your prayers and hopes and dreams of course are being answered. That I want you to imagine sending it out that all the people you know, all of their hopes, all of their dreams, all of their needs are being met in the field of miracles. And then I want you to bring that back into your heart, into your coherent space and feel the feeling of I am a miracle. I accept miracles. I look for miracles. And of course, miracles are happening for me. And then one more time of sending it out, sending it out into the universe, into the field of changing the energy of this planet at this time to be in the energy of love, miracles, light, acceptance, peace and stabilizing the light. 
and one last time taking that into your heart and feeling yourself stabilizing, feeling the smile just creeping over your face, feeling yourself activated into a sense of calmness and bliss, activating your light body, activating your expectation of peace and miracles. And then go into the energy of gratitude. I'm so grateful and thankful for all that I already am, all that I'm becoming, all that I already have, everything I've ever received and everything I'm going to receive. And I set the expectation of, I am blessed with miracles. I am highly favored and I expect miracle consciousness. Path is clear, obstacles removed, and I am a living exchange of giving and receiving miracles in this time and space. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is, and so it shall be. Taking a deep breath, feeling that wave go over you, understanding you've just changed your state of being into your expectations of miracles. I know that you already are, but of course, going to have a miracle today. And with that, I will leave you. I will um, put that in your hands. Something to think about this week. We have, um, we have a full moon on the 19th. So I will, um, I will be doing our moon circle on Wednesday this week. So if you are interested in Michelle's magical moons, um, you can feel free to join us uh, by joining the magical moon circle. Of course, I will be doing a live video here on the 20th, uh, Monday the 20th. I will be doing a little Yule celebration um, here on, on our Soul Circle Facebook group. So um, thank you if you're live for being here live in our Soul Circle Facebook group, six o'clock on Monday nights. Um, if you're watching this later, send me a message. Send, send me a hashtag replay. Um, or if you're on watching this, we've st started filing, putting this on the YouTube channel. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share this video um, if it helped you in any way. And I'll see you again next week. We've got our moon circles. And, um, and like I said, we just have this real essence of joy that is, is opportunity for a little bit of stabilization this week. And as you go into this full moon on the 19th, think about this is a really great week for manifesting from a place of, but of course, but of course. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thank you, thank you as well. Oh, wow, what a beautiful group of people. Um, hello back to all of you. And I'll see you again next week.